Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is my SQL Shorts. Before we get started, let's look at the JSON information we have stored in the JSON demo table. We can see that the info column contains a JSON object that has four properties age, name, hobby, and scores. If we wanted to return a subset of that data, say just the age and name properties, we would use the JSON object function. The JSON object function is used to build a JSON object in a MySQL query. The function takes pairs of arguments, where the first argument in the pair is the name of the property we want to return, and the second argument in the pair is the value we want to assign to that property. To return the age and name properties from the JSON object stored in the info column, we would need to use four arguments in JSON object. To return the age property, we specify age as the property label we want to return, and then we provide the value for that property. Since we need data from inside of a JSON object, we use the JSON path operator hyphen greater than greater than and provide the path to that property. When using this syntax, the dollar sign signifies the root of the JSON object. In this example, we're using the value of the age property off the root of the JSON document. To return the name property, we specify name as the property label we want to return and then provide a similar path to the name property of our JSON object. When we run this query, we can see the results only contain the age and name properties for each row. When using JSON object, we are not limited to just using JSON data. We can also return data from relational tables as well. Take a look at the data in this table named user. There are several columns, including a foreign key relationship to the user type table. We can use JSON object to return a JSON object that contains data from both of these tables. For this last demo, we are going to create a JSON object that contains the user ID, the user's full name, and the name of the user type tied to the user. This means we will need six arguments passed to JSON object. In the first pair, we use the string ID as the property label to return and the ID column from the user table for the value. The second pair uses name as the property label and then the concat function to concatenate the first and last names from the user table. The last pair uses user type as the property label and the name column from the user type table as the value. We then join the user type table to the user table via the user type ID column in the user table. When this query is run, we see the JSON object contains these three properties and the corresponding values for each. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we use during this video.